Hey guys, it's me Chris here, and today I'll be doing a little tutorial on how to use the post method in PHP. The example I'm going to be using is a little name box. So you type in your name and you press submit, and it echoes out your name. It's really easy. I'm going to be using a a web server called Exam. I recommend you do get this. It's um I have the link in the description. But yeah, what you see right now is what I made and what we're going to make soon. This is the page source, as you see. You don't see the PHP. The PHP is right under HTML. So if you look right here, this is the PHP. So um, yeah, let's get started. So this will show you what's going to do is you just type in your name or anything. I, I can type in any of that. Submit name or submit whatever you write. And it's going to echo it out. Now, um, to get started, I'm just going to blank. Actually, before I blank everything out, let me show you what everything does. I made a little form with a name, input, and a little button. And the PHP, this is the important part. This is the post. The only thing, the only one important thing, if you're gonna use the post, is the name of what you're using in HTML. So this is name. So I'm grabbing the post from name. So let's say this was name one, and I left this as a name. Let me refresh this. Now it's going to grab the name, but this is called name one. So if I type in anything here and just click submit, it won't grab anything because there's no variable called name, or I mean, um, there's no name like that. So if I do this. Just type in anything, it works. And um, you can also do when I use submit, I always use is set. That's just me, but you can also use like submit equals underscore post and then the name, which is submit. And you can do like if submit and then like brackets, but I like this a lot better. But you can do it like this, anyways. So um, let me just blank this out. So let's get started. So now, like this out, and now we're hit start by scratch. So now, if I save this and refresh, there's nothing here. So I'm basically basically gonna do everything I just did. So the first thing we're gonna do is our HTML tags. Is like that. Um, I did a body as well. I really don't need one though. But close this right here. Now here's gonna be our form. So form method now since we're doing the um this tutorial on post we're going to do method post and this and if you don't have a method i think the default get i think it was and close this so now if we actually refresh this there's still nothing here because we have nothing in our post now we can act actually add an action that if we add a um if we add a button whenever whenever it's clicked it will perform this action which can go to a, a website, a file, or do a certain type of JavaScript. I don't, you can do a lot of things with the action, but we're not going to be using that since it will be a self-serving post form. So now what we need to do is, is input. So input, now a type is going to be text. Since we're doing text, actually let me close this off. Now I think you might be able to see a little text box. Uh, we need to add a name for the post because when we call PHP, we need um, we need to be able to grab something. So we'll call this name. Name. We don't. If we want, you can add a value, like um, put your name here. There. Whoops. And it says put your name here. So. That's not that's not done. Now you can add a break, but I'm not gonna add a break. So like I can add the button under here, but I'm gonna put it right next to the uh, text. So input type submit name. I'm just gonna call the submit, and then value. That's the value of what the button. So let's say I want the button to say push um, echo name. Close that out. We can close this off. And it says echo name. There we go. Oops. I lost space right there. Just trying to make everything look clean. So now we have name. We can type in anything we want. Echo name. There's no PHP, so it won't do anything. And as you saw, default says put your name here. So now to get to PHP, we're done with all the HTML. All we did was add a form that will include an, uh, a text and a button. So now we can open up our PHP tags, and we can do we can add a variable to hold the name, which is 
name equals underscore post because we're using the post method and then bracket bracket and then the name which we called name and we always end off PHP with a semicolon now we're gonna write if the button is pressed you can do it two ways I already did it before but I'm gonna use my way which is if um, is set dot underscore post submit now what I just wrote is I right, now grabbing the name variable so whatever is typed in here is going to be stored into this variable called name and then I add, I said if the button is pressed it, between these brackets it's going to do whatever I say so if you just refresh this it's still nothing because we haven't told it to do anything so if I just type in anything it doesn't do anything now all we have to do is I think print also works let me try print name I never heard no print works I always wanted to see print name oh yeah it does so but we'll use echo so you can either just print or echo echo name then we can do echo refresh this put your name here Christian enter and then it says Christian and it also puts right here put your name here now I think you can do is I don't know if that might work, but let's see. Let's type something. No, it does not. I think it to take away these tags. Nope. But whatever. Um, that was just a value I was trying out. I never know if it worked. But um, there you go. That's so. To go over it again, this is grabs name from form. Here it says if button is press then between these brackets where it said echo name input so to go over again what we did is we just grab we just um, since we're using the method post it'll be underscore post and we're just grabbing the name so let's say if I call this um, info and I said this info it will still work because it's the same it's grabbing it from the same name so I can type in whatever and it still works. So we just added a little text box that stores the name, and we added a little button. So now we're grabbing, um, storing whatever it's typed in into this variable called name, and we're saying if button is pressed, it's gonna echo out the name. So that's a little way how to use the post method. I might, I may go into a little bit more advanced, advanced method how to use the post button. But there you go, guys. Please subscribe, write a comment, and hope you enjoyed.